told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong Ohio, uh, if you're not familiar where Allen County is, it's halfway between uh, Toledo and Dayton. Uh, we got some issues going up in Allen County that we have going on across, and we're looking for ideas, help. Uh, we had we, a poor group in uh, Allen County, uh, uh, Elida School District. Elida School District is a suburb of Lima, Ohio. Uh, Allen County has about 101,000 people. Elida, I, I think it's right around 20, 29,000 people. It's a small community. Thank you. Anyhow, uh, the transgender has pushed into the Elida community. And the, the uh, school board that's on there has uh, put in a, they call it a resolution, but it's a policy that they will allow transgender in the girls' bathroom. It's sick. The community has stepped up in big numbers, and, and we have let them know that that is not what the community is going to stand for. And if you think that it's not going to come to a school near you, it's coming. It is coming. We have been fighting hard. We've, been, uh, we've had several meetings. Uh, some of the path forward that we're working on right now is we're meeting with some of the new potential candidates that's going to run in November. We're kind of vetting them right now, uh, getting to know them. And then we really want to have a public forum to uh, introduce these people to the public. Because every time that we go to the ballot and we see these names on, on uh, the ballot for uh, school board, you have no idea who they are. It's how many signs, how much money went out for their campaign is basically what it is. We need to know who we're putting in there and what they stand for, what they, and if they're going to get in the way. So we're working on that right now. Um, and actually, uh, I don't live in Elida District, but it's going to come out further. Elida is one of the bigger schools in Allen County, so they've kind of targeted that. So we have been encouraging everybody, if you are strong and can stand up and get in the way, then run. Run for school board. I'm going to run for a school board that I have nothing to do with. We open and roll our children to a whole different school system. So I'm doing my best to get involved and try to put a stop to it, stand in the way of it. That's all we can do. we got to pray for it. To set the last meeting up, I could not believe what had happened. We had a large turnout of people that was against it and, and they were there to speak. We threw the school board off because they didn't expect that kind of number to show up at the school board meeting. The cowards faced each other. They wouldn't even face the crowd. The school board and all these elected officials forget who they work for. So as they're facing each other, they will not they will not face their constituents, they will not listen. It's time we make them listen. We have the militia group here, and, and in Allen County, we've opened up, uh, it's called the, uh, what is it, uh, committee, committee of safety. safety. Do your research on the committee of safety, because that is powerful. And I think if the committee of safety and some of the other groups here would get together. I think all these groups here are great, that's here supporting this and, and speaking out and doing this, but the problem is we're more powerful in numbers. We've got to get these groups pulled together with one focus and attack the problem. That's the problem. We're out here and we're speaking, we're talking, we're doing this, but we're really not getting anything done. We're just standing in the way. The only way that we're going to get anything done is, is like all these great speakers that was here and, and said the same thing. We've got to get together. We've got to take our government back over. And it's a small step each way. we got to get on the school boards. we got to get on the county seats. We've got to step out and run. We're complaining. Get out and run. Come on. So, anyhow, that, that's where we're at. I, I um, it, the other thing that, that I've talked to with some of the potential school board, and, and, and I've, I've said it myself, 
The filth and smut that is in the school library has got to be cleaned out. And I have said to some of the school board members that are, you know, potentially going to run, I said, that's, you know, as a school board member, you have the ability to walk the halls, go through the classroom. You have, it's an open door for a board member. Go in the library, empty the library out, get that smut out, because they're going to end up putting the adult bookstores out of business because it's in your school library where your babies are going to school. It's sick. We got to get this cleaned up. They have swallowed generations of society. We have two children, me and my wife. They're ten and uh, got one to be twelve next next. Well, actually, this month. My twelve-year-old daughter wants to write a speech to go to the school board and read. Come on. I really want to put her up there. I do. But I told her to write the speech down and I'll read it for you. Because the, the filth that showed up at the last school board meeting was disgusting. And this is where it's going to lead me right here. If you don't believe that evil ain't in a public school or university or any school in the USA, I got video evidence that it's there. At the last school board meeting, they had a gentleman stand up, give an awesome speech, was in prayer. In prayer, at the end of that speech, it was beautiful. He got a standing ovation when it was over. The community that was representing the transgender community stood up and hollered, Hail Satan! In the school board meeting. And the coward school board members didn't put it to a stop. All of them got to go. We got to get strong conservatives on the boards. We got to get strong conservatives in all offices. Get people out. I know this is a small group, but every one of us is going to go home and we're going to talk. And we're going to get the word out. And I agree. I think one of these needs to happen in 88 counties of Ohio so we can get our state back. Thank you. Yeah.